You know, our next speaker, as, a, as an activist who's been speaking truth to power for over two decades, our next speaker is a personal hero of mine for many years. Senator and presidential candidate Mike Gravel officially released the Pentagon Papers Supreme Court case establishing the right of any member of Congress to release secret government information to the people without being called to task by any other governmental jurisdiction. He's been speaking truth to power so long back when he was on the presidential ticket Several years ago, he spoke the truth to the Bush administration, the international media, stuff that no one else was willing to say. Give it up to one of my heroes, Senator Mike Gravel. Thank you very, very much. You know, when you look out at this grouping, uh, I generally feel very strongly that you're making a statement. But you're making a statement in such a comfortable, luxurious fashion. Understand that you're not going to get relief to the shortcomings of government policy except by what you do. State of Washington is a case in point. What, what you have and what you can enjoy in the state of Washington is a product, is a product of the initiative process where the people legislate, initiate and legislate. I debated him early on and, uh, and also Hillary and I got to tell you, with respect to public policy, they are both frauds. Frauds. What, what's happened is they've made statements when they were running for office, seeking your votes, telling you what you wanted to hear, but then after they acquire office, they just turn tail and, and, and you see them for what they are, puppets of the military industrial complex and Wall Street. That's what the Obama administration is all about. That's what the Congress is all about. And obviously that's what the judiciary is all about. Now, there's only two venues to bring about change. One is the government where the problem exists and the other is the people. And the changes that you've seen, which are very modest, were as a result of the people through the initiative process. For the last 25 years, I've devoted my time to bring about legislation called the National Citizens Initiative for Democracy. This is legislation that when enacted into law, and it won't be enacted by the Congress, you can count on that, but it can be enacted by the people directly and in the legal process where more than 60 million Americans would vote for this legislation. What this legislation would do would be to equip you to make laws in a uniform fashion in every jurisdiction of the United States and maybe at, in the future at a global level. The answer is to empower you with the tools to do, to do this. And this law that I've written, I've copied my experiences with the Congress when I was Speaker of the House in Alaska and, and put it together so that you now have, with a document that's less than 5,000 words, a document that you can reach on the shelf, take it, and when 65 million Americans vote for it, it becomes the law of the land. The process that we've developed is to go around, go around the government, make off the government is not there, and just concentrate on empowering yourselves to be able to make laws. Let me close with, with a, sta a very famous statement by a senator 2,000 years ago. His name was Marcus Cicero. And Marcus Cicero said that freedom is participation in power. If you don't participate in power, you are not free. In our society, power is the lawmaking. The central power of government is lawmaking. And so until we can bring the people into the operation of government as lawmakers, we will truly never be free. The task is yours. And your turning out for this event makes a statement to the powers that be that the people are coming. The people are coming and they're asserting their will. Again,
Freedom is participation in power. The National Citizens Initiative, when enacted into law by the people, will give the people the tools and the power to make the changes that you want to see happen. It will not happen with representative government. In fact, representative government keeps us all in civic adolescence. I want that, but I don't want to pay any taxes. I want that, but I don't want to pay any taxes. That's adolescent behavior. What we need is for people to take responsibility for their own governance. And bear in mind that it's not that difficult because that's exactly the way we raise our children by giving them responsibility. Let them succeed and fail, let them succeed and fail until they mature into a civic adult. And that's what you are doing today is expressing yourself on a very important issue. And, and bear in mind that that issue is not just about marijuana, medical marijuana, hemp. The issue is, is a process for control by the military industrial complex that rules our society. And the war on drugs is, is a military action to perpetuate this whole concept of militarization of what we've done to our great nation. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking, making the statement that you feel deeply about because that's where the solution is. It's not in government. I've been there, I can tell you that from the bottom of my heart. The solution is out there with all of you. Thank you very, very much. Alaska Senator Mike Ravel, a man who has spoke truth to power for his entire career.